Greetings and welcome back everyone to another episode of Tough Toy Tryouts. I'm Kyle and with me as always is our tester Story. She's probably the one on screen right now wondering what the heck is Bailey doing running around in circles. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for us and set up alerts so you're always up to date with the happenings on the channel. This week, we're going back to our roots, testing another softer chew toy like we did in our first ever episode where we cover Tuffy's Ultimate Bone. However, this time we're testing Kong's version called the Ballistic Cookie. And let me tell you, this is one tough cookie indeed. Its felt exterior encases multiple layers of ballistic nylon originally designed for bulletproof vests and multiple squeakers that are all wrapped in their own nylon pouches. All of that is then sealed with eight rows of stitching, which are all wrapped in industrial grade webbing. So what's this all equate to? Honestly, maybe a few extra hours of chew time. So now that we know what we're testing, let's hand this thing over to Story and see how it holds up after a week's heavy abuse. Not so fast, it is I, Porkchop, with the Toys Against Destructive Aggression. We have warned you to stop your chewing ways and yet you have ignored us. This will not go unpunished as you shall soon see. As I speak, a weaponized version of the exact toy you've marked for death is heading toward your nation's capital where it shall destroy your beloved White House. We'll see if your president can turn even more orange. Ha 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 ha! If you continue destroying toys, the next target won't receive cheers from half the country. Tada is watching. I am watching. Well, to half of you, you're welcome. Anywho, here's the ballistic cookie, but this wasn't after a week. This destruction happened in less than three hours on the first day. We took a risk trying a soft toy again, and it appears Story has developed a surefire way to ignore all of the bulletproof materials. So let's break this down. Even more, I mean. For safety, the toy receives a two. This toy is definitely not for aggressive chewers, and there's pieces that can be swallowed, including all the threading. I do, however, like the fact that the squeakers are in their own pouches, making it harder to accidentally swallow. As for design, the toy receives a four. While it's definitely not rated for aggressive chewers, it would be an excellent toy for senior dogs, especially those with mouth illnesses. The softer material will allow for chewing, but without the risk of injuring old teeth or gums. You could still use the toy for fetch, and it also floats, making it a good pool toy. Should this toy somehow last, you can even machine wash it too. Some pretty cool design features. Ha! <laughs> well, I think you know what this toy gets on longevity. The ballistic cookie receives a 1 since it didn't last out the day. We've had a few of these types of toys, all from Tuffy, and the first one took a few days to destroy. The issue is, once your dog learns how to properly dismantle the toy, it's gone pretty quickly as the evidence suggests. That leaves us with a price, which in our instance receives a 1. Kong's Ballistic Cookie sells for $9.43 on Chewy.com, which, for a toy that only lasts a few hours, is simply too much money. If you're getting this for an older dog, or one that isn't an aggressive chewer, you could probably get your money's worth. So the final verdict is a 2 out of 5 bones. It's simply not a chew toy for aggressive chewers, if I haven't made that point clear yet. It's not to say it's a bad toy by any means, however. The construction is well done, and it really got Story excited. They just need to properly grade these toys by classifying it for soft chewers, or only as a fetch toy. However, with a name like Ballistic Cookie and boasting its Ballistic Nylon from Bulletproof Jackets, you'd expect this thing to be nearly indestructible. It's just simply not the case. Anyways, that's where we end this week's episode. Sorry there wasn't more to it, but that's the situation sometimes. If you like what we've done so far, or if you think Story's cute, hit that like button for us and be sure to share with all your dog park buddies. If there's a toy you'd like to see Story try out in a future episode, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Until next time, have an amazing week and thanks for watching.